the first topic that we're going to cover today is when and how do you actually start doing your academic writing? This can be a huge question that can loom over students when they start researching. When do you actually start? Well, some people prefer to write the essay whilst they actually do their research. Whereas others like myself and also Tim can sometimes be guilty of writing it a little bit too late because we like to do a lot of research and have everything planned first. So where is the balance? But there is no one answer to this. And the balance and the best position to start is often subjective. But there are a few tips and advice I can give to you to help, to help you to understand when it's best to start your individual assignment. So what I would recommend is doing some form of plan. So once you've got the question, try and understand it. I talked about that a lot and there's a video going up on our YouTube channel where I go into depth about that from a session I did in the past. But once, you've, once you're confident that you have researched every question by using a plan that you've made, that's when I'd recommend starting to write the assignment. So once you feel confident that you've managed to fill out a paragraph structure, like the one I'll show you later, each one, and you've got all the content you need, that is when I would recommend starting to write. But what I would always say is if you started writing, you do feel that you ever need to do any further research. But your first attempt at writing is only your first attempt. You often can reflect and think, actually, maybe I need to do some more research here. So I'd recommend going back and doing a little bit more if you feel that way. Um, one good thing to note is I would often recommend that students use something called backwards planning when they actually plan their, a, their assessment. So I'd always recommend thinking or deciding to try and put your deadline at least a week before when the actual assessment is due. Sorry, one moment. <coughs> so I would recommend putting your deadline at least a week before, and that way you've got some flexibility within what you're doing. I would aim to at least finish writing a week before, just because there's other things to do after you've done your writing. And it can often be misjudged how long those things take. So the things that will be needed to be done, for example, are proofreading and referencing. You'll hear, if you went to my referencing class that was on Tuesday, you'll have heard me say that referencing takes longer than you think. So make sure to give it the time it needs. When I talk about proofreading, I'm doing a class on that in a few weeks. I'll say the same thing. Proofreading, make sure you give it the time so you can look at your work with fresh eyes. So try to start writing just with enough time that you will finish it at least a week in advance of the deadline. Um, and the final piece of advice that I've got on the slide is to actually start writing with the main body first. And that actually can help you a lot because when you start to write your essay by writing an introduction, you can sometimes think and feel a bit confused because you don't actually know what you're going to write. Whereas what I'd recommend, just start in the meat of the, ess the, meat of the essay in the main body. And it's a lot easier to write when you're writing just that paragraph. And it can really help structure your overall help you to get started and give yourself that momentum that you need. Tim has something to add. So, Tim. The, one of the things that I will add in here is that um, planning the paragraphs that you're going to write is based on what you've been reading about that particular topic as well. So it's really important to make notes when you are reading uh, because those notes will help you to understand where and what you need to include in your writing. So that's just one of the things I wanted to uh, to highlight.